find derivative of cosine from sine function. Now in the previous video, from the first principle we found derivative of sine x and that was, let me write it down here, d dx of sine x is equals to cos x, right? It's written here as such. Given d dx of sine x is cos of x, find d dx of cos x, right? So let's now figure out what is derivative of cosine x. Well, you know the identity that is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Now, we'll, you, we can use this identity to find derivative of cosine x. Now, as this is a function of x, we can differentiate both sides with respect to x. Then what do we get? When we differentiate this with respect to x, we get 2 sine x times derivative of sine x, which is cosine x, plus derivative of cos x will be 2 cos x times derivative of cos x, that is d dx of cos x. This is what we need to find. And derivative of constant is 0. Now we can rearrange this equation and find derivative of cos x. So that's the whole idea. So now we can have d dx of, or rather, let's do it in two steps. So what we'll do is, we'll write 2 cos x d dx of cos x equals to minus, we'll bring this term to the right side, 2 sin x cosine x, right? And now d dx of cos x is equals to minus 2 sin x cosine x divided by 2 cos x. Now here 2 and 2 will cancel out and cos x cancels with cos x and you are left with minus sin x, correct? So there we get our formula that is derivative of cosine x with respect to x is equals to minus of sin x, correct? So this is the formula which we are going to use all throughout to find or to differentiate trigonometric functions, right? So we have two basic formulas to start with. One which we found using the first principle, derivative of sine x equals to cos x, and now derivative of cos x equals to minus sine x. Now in the next video, see how we find derivative of tan x, which is ratio of sine x and cosine x. You can find it using quotient rule, correct? Thank you.